Hey everybody, we are gonna do another top 10 list. I know it's been a little bit, I've been sick and all that, but we've got Francesca Fiorentini and we've got 10 myths Ooh. we wish were true. Really fast, I'm gonna be vague about this cuz I don't wanna spoil anything. But I've started watching this new TV show that just came out over the weekend. Yes. And it has some myths in it. Did, okay. did you, I, I put it in the email, did you watch that show? I have I not I don't wanna yet. say anything cuz I don't wanna spoil it, but it made I just me read think the synopsis. about myths. Sure. Sure. So anyway, these are going to be uh, 10 myths we wish were true. And Francesca sent me a message before the show asking <laughs> like, is it about like mythological creatures or just like petty little myths we have? And I thought everything, I want it to everything. be as broad as possible. So That's, mine yeah. are lots of different things. So um, what's what's your first one? What's your number five? I. Uh... I feel like I have a lot like myths and superstitions are sort of linked to me for me. Sure. So maybe that's similar, but so these this will same. sort of traverse that. Um, and after living in Latin America for a while, I feel like I have so many more myths. But okay, the first myth that I wish was true is has to do with animal poo, which is if you step in dog poo or a bird poos on you, that's supposed to be good luck. <laughs> And I feel like it's not because I've had many birds <laughs> poo on me and I've stepped in a lot of you know what. And I <laughs> feel day. like I don't have my HBO show yet, you know? Yeah, so that's true. Do you think maybe I'm just not walking origin, around enough? Maybe you're not stepping in the right type of poop. Do you think <laughs> that the origin of that is just to make the person feel better? 100%. Like, but like, I would have wanted the good luck to have started a second earlier, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Avoiding the poop is the good luck. But that would be nice. Yeah. That, that, that seems like it'd be fair. Like something bad happens, well, something it's like, good happens. Well, now you're probably not gonna step in poo for like like six weeks at least. Ten minutes, something. <laughs> okay, that is the smallest scale myth I think we're probably gonna cover, but what? that would no, be nice. No, I've I got go smaller. Poop. Oh, it gets pettier. Okay, well, let's let's have a contrast here. You you I'm go big. Maybe I'm gonna offend someone, but my number five is heaven. Ooh, <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be like I know. Oh, you're calling it a myth. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I don't even mean specifically like the Christian conception of heaven, but if I could know that an afterlife was yes, real, yes. that would be one less thing to worry about. You know, that'd be pretty nice. I'd go for that. Make it. I used like to believe heaven. in heaven. It's funny because I used to believe in heaven when I was little. Um, you know, mm -hmm. when you believe in like uh, story ta fairy tales and stuff. Because <laughs> it's fake. No, I'm kidding. No, no. I did used to believe in heaven as a child, and it actually scared me. And I kept on being like, "Wait a minute, live forever? Like uh -huh. I'd take another 15 years. You know what I mean? But 15, like, that's can it? you re? Yeah, or like, can you re up or like being reincarnated sounded always the best option to me, uh, which I'm not sure I don't believe in because I definitely I like saw a donkey pulling a cart of children in the middle of like 120 degree heat once, and I was sure that it was Pinochet. Um, <laughs> he was definitely reincarnated as that donkey and deserved. <coughs> But um, yeah, but doesn't it didn't it scare you? Doesn't it scare you imagining living forever? Like, ugh. Well, we'll maybe we'll we'll talk about that later on. For me, it's not the same as living forever. It's existing in a higher state. I just want to know oh. things. I want to go to a place where Having I can wings. Google anything. That would be nice. Google or maybe anything. relive experiences I had. Or what but about anyway. watch people shower. Ooh. Well, I mean, I can do that now. There's like webcams and stuff. But anyway, what's your number four? Joe. I'm totally joking. What's your I've got report? I've got That's mine are all so petty. Um, okay, I <laughs> mine. Okay, let's go big. Let's go big. Um, uh, let's see. I would love for trickle down economics to work. Uh, <laughs> because that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> But it does not exactly. That trickle is like a like Chinese water torture drop, and it does not exist. Making the rich richer does not make everybody else richer at all, because greed exists, and capitalism is designed to enhance greed. Not to say that we don't have 
good human qualities. A lot of people are like, well, capitalism exists because humans are greedy. You're like, yeah, humans are also kind. Humans are also compassionate. Humans are also benevolent and, and giving. But none of our systems are designed to help us do that. Especially yeah. not our economic system. So, uh, trickle down economics been a lie, done been a myth, does not work. And I, I wish it did somehow because then maybe you know more, more Amazon truck drivers wouldn't be peeing sure. in bottles. They would be able to yeah. you know, out of the goodness of Bezos's heart, they would make you know ends meet and be able to they'd support all be their millionaires. Family. And they'd I mean, all it's, be it's exactly. such a rich corporation, a rich guy. Why isn't it trickling down? Yeah. That that's a good one. I didn't think of that, but um, yeah, my thing has always been like, like be especially suspicious of people with like governing philosophies, where like if their theory is totally wrong, it still doesn't hurt them at all. I would be suspicious of that, like because they don't actually even if they're wrong, check. they get rich. Yeah, exactly. So. Anyway, the first, that's, that's the first one. tier of that is like, well, first I get rich, then we'll do, you know, we'll yeah. A B test the rest. Why don't we why don't we switch it up and do the other way? Let's do trickle up for a bit. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, no, you don't like that? Weird. Um, okay, <laughs> my my number four was actually kind of similar. It was originally the American dream was mm. the myth that I wish was true, but I went a little bit broader and I broadened it to karma. I wish that was true. Because I think the American dream is sort of supposed to be about that. Like if you work hard. And you're good to people, you'll do better. And I think karma is just a more generalized version of that. I love the idea that there is balance. Yeah. You know, and that doing good matters. And I'm not saying that it doesn't in any way, but it's not the same as there being some like, like DNA to the universe that cares about that stuff. Like it's so abstract. I wish that something like that was true. I wish that there was karma, but like, I know that like, you know, Trump's never gonna go to jail and Stephen Miller's probably gonna end up rich and like it just I hate that. I hate yeah. that there's no justice baked into the system. Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, karma actually apparently means that if you're doing bad now, it's because in a previous life you were terrible. But if you're doing good now, it means in a previous life you were good. So it's yeah. this weird like blaming the victim kind of situation. But it also mm. doesn't account for people Here's the thing, it doesn't account for people who are like Trump really doing well in this lifetime, but are horrible. Horrible, yeah. We're supposed to believe that secretly they're doing badly. And I'm sure he's very unhappy in a lot of ways, but I also want him to be poor and in jail, I guess. Anyway, yeah. it's not gonna happen. What's your number three? <sighs> okay, number three, I, this is so small and so stupid. <laughs> but I really want Ronan Farrow to be Frank. <laughs> Hang on. I want Ronan Farrow to be Frank Sinatra's son. We all know it's true. We all know that Mia Farrow and Frank Sinatra had a thing. And she even said recent, not so recently, like a few years ago, like it might be true. Yeah, it might be his son. Instead of Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Like, can you this That's beautiful specimen of man, Ronan Farrow, just a gorgeous, <laughs> like statuesque, like angelic human being? And then you compare them, look at side by side Frank Sinatra and Ronan Farrow, they are exactly alike. But Maybe. Woody Allen, where's the Woody Allen? I in, love the pettiness of your wish here. Well, well yeah, um, pettiness because he's a pedophile. But like, I hate Woody Allen, number one. And Ronan Farrow is amazing and does great work. And like, yeah, he should be Frank Sinatra's son. I'm seeing some like side by side pictures of the two where they do look like they could be related. Oh, oh they're like spitting image. Okay, okay. Um, well, look, maybe you're onto something and maybe maybe you'll get your wish. Okay, you have to be good though, because that's how karma works. Anyway, what a, what a petty use of this <laughs> anyway. I never even heard of that. I had never heard of that theory it's before, a, by yes, the way. Yes, yes. Okay, that's a good myth though. Uh, my number three is very similar. Uh, I wish vampires were real. <laughs> so um, if it, that's basically what my mythological happen? creature one. Do you want to be I, a vampire? Okay, sorry, sorry, keep going. I, I kind of do. Like, I don't necessarily like the the evil thing, 
um, or the preying on people thing. But very often in a lot of vampire stories, there's people who willingly give their blood to vampires. So I don't think you'd have to be like a killer or something. But they do get to basically live forever and they stay up all night. I get my best thinking done when it's dark, or at least I used to before I got old. And they're great like on the it. pipes, you know, on the like. Dee 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 That's dee true. Dee they dee live suddenly. alone. They stay up at night. I could, I could go for that. And I'm not as worried about everlasting life as you. I feel like I could fill it with like reading books and, you know, like finally learning to draw well and stuff. I would like that time. And you could always just, you know, walk outside during the day to die when you finally want to lose it all. I, if I could only have one mythological creature be real, I think the vampire thing is the coolest. It's, oh, wow, what a terrible creature to want to be for the rest of your life. What about a centaur? You just like a hot Fantasia centaur? That's what I want to be with like, I'm like a horse body, oh, horse. but like a female top. You're just like hella fly. You got long rainbow hair. You're just like, you know, you're like galloping through the hills. That's cool. Okay, the rainbow hair is cool, but I don't know. You're still part horse. You still poop like a horse, and which is great. You, you never weird. get constipated. You, you can poo when you walk, and nobody judges because you're this hot not, too. This, that's not hot. I don't care about the. Well, did she is pooping as she's walking, but she does have rainbow hair, so I guess it all balances out. <laughs> you're a disgusting. I don't know. Being a vampire, obviously, that you want. The best mythological creature is a gnome, 100%. Like, maybe, maybe a gnome, anyway, an well, elf, or anyone small and magical who can live in like you know trees and mushrooms. Like that's dope. I'd totally live. I'd there. live in a mushroom. You would. You would live in a mushroom. <laughs> okay, what's your number two? Um, I want aliens to have built Stonehenge, not the pyramids. Because I feel like that's robbing, you know, uh, North Africans and Egyptians of their accomplishments, even though they in, it was slave labor. However, Stonehenge is weird. Stonehenge is like, mm. but how though? We're, this is like, how many years before the pyramids? <laughs> like at least five. What? Uh, so it's five years. That's basically the same time. But um, were <laughs> the was Stonehenge built? Before the pyramids, but continue. Yes, of course they were, and nobody knows how they got built. It's like, okay, I guess we imagine like on a pulley system or some sort of like roly roly thing, roly pulleys. But I want, I think they, they're they're crazy. They should have been built by aliens. They're beautiful. I've never been. I'd like to go. And uh, yeah, it was built earlier by like five hundred years or exactly. so. Exactly. Exactly. What does it mean? What does it spell out? Like maybe it's just like stop. Earth is doomed. <laughs> Your planet. What if it's just some graffiti? Like, you know, like a, what if it's just a dick, but like the dick of an alien, you know? <laughs> it's like a perfect circle. I don't even want to think about which orientation. Anyway, okay, that's that's a weird one again. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go to my pettiest one. Okay. Uh, which is like it's the kind that you've done that are sort of like things that people believe. I wish that the thing you hear was true. The you only use people you only use 10% of their brain. Yeah. I wish that was true. It's not. They keep making movies about it. Limitless, and there was that movie with Scarlett Johansson that I remember being okay. Um, it's not true, but I wish that it was because I love the idea of untapped potential. Like I know that theoretically we do have untapped potential and you can study or work out or whatever, but I love the idea that like, we're barely scratching the surface of some amazingly powerful thing that's built into us. Like oh, it yeah. feels like it's like going to lead to X Men or something like that. I wish I've always loved fantasy things that have like magic that like you can learn, but you have to train really hard and then you'll get this special power. Like there's nothing like that. Like you do get better by studying and by working at things, but it's not magical like I want. I want there to be this built in thing that you can really buckle down on and train for. And it doesn't really exist. No, and that's why you, that's why people go to the gym. You know what I mean? Because it's like the closest you can get to like being a superhero. Uh, uh, sadly, meatheads, though, it's like there's too much padding around the brain, i.e., Rogan. <laughs> like it's just, 
the MMA <laughs> stuff. But you're right, you you can use <gasps> and expand your mind, but like the mind body are very much connected. And yeah. so if any, I don't know, but I, I think you're right. If, if, if you're like, if I just work hard enough, I could be as smart as like Stephen Hawking. Yeah, but, I wish that, but also, I, I wish that. I wish there was more like that. Yeah. Like yeah. A, an incredible singer and like a pianist. And I don't know. Yeah. I feel like they were just saying, like, I wish you were rich so you'd have all the time to just like do your hobbies and not, not worry about making money. That would be cool too. That's but basically what's your number what one. Being a superhero is. God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> You're supposed to know before. I... There's a myth going around. <laughs> That she does her list in advance, and I want to dispel that myth. I wish that myth was true. No, anyway, what, what's your number one? I'm putting you on the spot. Okay, I wish that a Coca Cola did cure a cold, because <laughs> is that my a mom, myth? My mom is always like, I drink a Coke. It helps. It helps with the cold. It cures the cold. It doesn't, but it's a myth. It does. It gives you energy. The bubbles are nice, but it doesn't help. Is bad for you, <laughs> but I wish it would just be like, ah, yay, you know what I mean? You can keep on stealing water from Nigeria and, uh, you know, whatever <laughs> else, like giving everyone diabetes, but it cures a cold. Like that'd be tight. Yeah. Um, something I like that. I have not heard that myth. I, I wish that like any of the health based, like an apple a day, you know, like I wish yes. those like, like wives' tales about health actually worked. Yes, like, you know, starve a cold, feed a fever. That's whatever. actually true. I actually is think that true? that that's true. Feed I a cold, know, starve maybe. a fever is very true. Beer before liquor, liquor. Here, that's okay. I I switch mine up. I wish that <laughs> beer before liquor or liquor after beer. I wish someone could just clarify that myth, and then I wish it was true. I think when you so mix you alcohol drink, generally, though. you're mm-hmm. getting a terrible hangover. I guess, I guess. I think it just if champagne is any part of it in whatever order, you're screwed. 100%. Um, Can we say that champagne's overrated? I'm sorry. Too, it brings you up too high and it drops you like a forklift, drops like a, you know, a monster truck, just like, I don't that, know. What that, that also is, is a myth. Um, okay, my number one is our first crossover, I think. Uh, although not specific to Stonehenge, I do wish that aliens were real. They're all. It's also the thing on my list that I think is most likely to actually be true. Yes. But um, I honestly don't even care in what form. Like, if it's the ones that are coming and like doing experiments on us, or Take like it's me. the face on Mars, or whatever. Do I you just, pay for the study? <laughs> exactly. Because here's the thing: anything limited to our planet will eventually be ruined. By the horrible humans here, even vampires. There'd be some weird conservative thing with vampires. Like I think that's even on True Blood. The ten percent brain thing would be co-opted by the white supremacists and the fascists or whatever. They'd ruin it. But I feel like with aliens, (laughs) you can leave. And if there's one thing we know about conservatives, they don't really like going places. So I feel like I could eventually leave the planet and the whole alien thing wouldn't be ruined. They'd say stuff about the aliens here, sure. There'd be super racist or anti-alien stuff about sleeping with them or whatever, I don't know. But I wouldn't have to listen to it because I wouldn't be on the planet anymore. And that's why it's the best bit. You'd be on the ship getting probed and you were like, worth it. Whatever, honestly, I'm I'm part of the solution, maybe some sort of scientific <laughs> endeavor. So that's it for me. It's a little. I bit definitely want like aliens to be real. I 100% agree. Mm-hmm. I just, but I they. Oh, it would give me hope. I think if there were aliens. Wasn't there yeah. like a story like a couple years ago, which were like aliens are real, but they're not ready to reveal themselves yet? Like I forgot that's how that was even sure. verified, but like that's the idea. They're like, nope, humans ain't ready. Like, let's see if Trump <laughs> runs again for office and loses, and then we'll we'll reveal ourselves. If you were an alien, would you reveal yourself to the you fart out your butt, but it goes through your pants, people? I would not be giving warp drive to uh, people that elect Lauren Boeber and Marjorie Green. Anyway, those are our ten myths that we wish were true. What did we miss? I think we covered pretty much everything. Everything. But if you can come up with something. Feel free to let us know. And if you have ideas for future top 10 lists, 
Uh, you can post them in the comments below. Uh, but either way, thank you for being a member at tier two or tier three. We really appreciate your support. Francesca, thank you as always for being a part of this. Thank and you. We'll see you next time.